Start to another week and we're gonna be hanging out with the geese this week. Just kidding, we're actually just we're actually just down here checking the water again this week. Our water is working though, so I'm gonna head back to the house. Hopefully I don't get stuck because there is some very deep snow drifts around. We'll see how long it takes to get the snow moved, but I might try to get the semi moved here today as well. So I was out moving snow again and our tractor died and had that same issue where we turned the key on and we don't have any power at the dash here. And it wasn't the same fuse as last time, so I have a bunch of fuses to check again. The steer's bale's already getting pretty low, so I do need to get this tractor kind of fixed pretty quick, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing to it. So one of our batteries here is pretty new, but the other one's from about 2015, so it might be going bad and then just kind of messing up the ECM, causing that fuse to blow. So I'll pull both of these out and check the acid levels in them, make sure it's okay. When dealing with electrical problems, one of the simplest things you can usually do is just take a cable... Go from your negative side on your battery and just add an extra kind of ground somewhere to the frame or the engine just to kind of add an extra little ground to it. The New Holland engineers did just a wonderful job putting these batteries in here. So I already had to remove one piece that actually goes in here and that's just kind of for this little cover. And then I'm gonna have to pull this cover off as well too, just to get this battery slid out of here because it's just barely not enough room with how it's sitting here right now. But at least it's kind of a nice day. It's about 36 degrees right now. You can see I'm actually standing here at a mud hole right next to our snow. Looks like a little bit more snow again today. And I need to get that thing fixed today as well. This might be a fun day. We got all the acid cleaned up. We got our new battery. And then we are going to put our ground strap on here as well, too. And I'm just going to ground it down here by the starter. So hopefully that should maybe fix our issue. And I really hope this fixes it because our steers are mowing down that bale right now. Well, after running around for about 15 minutes moving a little snow, I think we might actually have this tractor fixed, but I'm going to keep moving snow for maybe another 45 minutes, hour or so, and just kind of make sure nothing stops. Yet again today, we are going to try to get the semi moved here. We do want to get the semi moved because once the snow starts melting, we are going to have a giant puddle down here because that is the low spot kind of in our bin site out here. And even some of the bare spots from this morning are already melting out, so we do want to get this thing moved. So my brother came over and helped me move the semi. I pretty much just needed someone to steer it while I pulled him with the tractor. And I did not get the tractor fixed, apparently, because right before he got here, I ended up blowing another fuse on this thing. I ended up cleaning up a bunch more connections on this thing. I ended up getting a bunch more snow plowed. Got actually most of the yard all plowed out here. And it never did die again, so maybe we got it fixed this time. I sure hope so. So I came to check the field I need to finish spreading this morning and see how deep the snow was. And, you know, like right here, it does not seem that deep at all. But, uh... It's actually just a little bit hard packed here, so I'm glad I brought a shovel because I'm a little bit uh, stuck here. So I'm gonna have to move a little snow so I can actually get back out on the road. I did make it out of the field and back home, but our shop is a little bit of a mess. So I think I am gonna end up just kind of cleaning the shop to end the week off here. It's Saturday morning and I need to get the steers a bale, except I might've got the tractor stuck. So it turns out about that much snow is too much snow for the new Holland to go through. But there is some good news. I found one of my pitchforks. Did finally manage to wiggle the tractor out of the snow and get another bale out here for the steers. And that's probably where we're going to kind of wrap up the week here. So I will see you guys next week.